When you want to vote in person on election day, it's a good idea to prepare ahead of time so there are no surprises when you head to the polls. First, you want to figure out where you can vote. Some counties have vote centers where any eligible voter in that county can go to cast a ballot. Other counties use polling places, and voters must go only to their assigned polling place to vote. The important difference is that vote centers print ballots on demand so that they can print the voter their specific ballot style. There can be thousands of ballot styles in an election. Polling places are only able to issue ballots for the specific ballot styles that have been assigned to that polling place. So it's very important voters know where to go on election day. You can find out whether your county uses polling places or vote centers on the Clean Elections website. Once you figure out where you're voting, make sure you bring a valid form of ID, such as your driver's license, Arizona ID, or tribal enrollment card. The Clean Elections website has a full list of what ID is acceptable and which forms you can mix and match. You can also check out our voter ID tool to find out what will work. Once you're at your voting location, sign in with a poll worker and present your ID to receive your ballot. Poll workers are there if you need help casting your ballot, so make sure you tell the poll worker if you require any assistance or have any questions. They can help you in a nonpartisan manner and, if needed, they can contact the county elections department directly for further assistance. While inside the polls, and within 75 feet of all polling locations, voters are protected from electioneering. This means no one should be campaigning and trying to influence your decision so that you can cast your ballot without interference. Voters are welcome to bring campaign materials into the voting booth, including a sample ballot or the voter education guide to help you cast your ballot. It's important to know your rights at the polls. Voting locations must be compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act and set up with accessible voting equipment. Other assistance is also available, such as magnifying instruments. Plus, voters have the right to bring a person with them into the polls to help you vote. If, for any reason, the poll worker cannot find your name on the poll books, voters have the right to vote a provisional ballot. This is a fail-safe to ensure the voter can cast their ballot before the polls close. The county recorder will later determine if the voter was eligible and if the provisional ballot should count. Don't forget, if your county uses assigned polling places, you must be at the correct location for your ballot to count. After you vote, your ballot is tabulated one of two ways. If there's a tabulation machine at the voting location, the voter runs the voted ballot through the machine, which immediately counts the ballot and saves the vote to a removable media device inside the tabulator. If there is not a tabulation machine at the voting location, the voter deposits their voted ballot into a secured ballot bin, which is sent back to Election Central by election workers of different political parties after the polls close. Ballots are then counted at Election Central on tabulation machines. Voters can watch this process online through live feeds from the county. Once you have cast your ballot, the poll worker will offer you an I Voted sticker so you can wear it proudly knowing you did your civic duty. Your voter history record will be updated after the election, so you can see all of the elections you voted in. Remember, you have the right to a secret ballot, so your voter history can only show that you cast a ballot, not who or what you voted for. To learn more about what to expect when voting at the polls, including how to find your voting location and what ID to bring, visit azcleanelections.gov.